What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jordan and today I'm gonna to be going over one of my favorite modifications on the Datsun 280Z. It's an electronic distributor from 123 Ignition and it has Bluetooth. It's a really awesome unit and it can connect to your phone and it has a lot of flexibility for anyone who has a classic car. So if you wanna see that unit, how to use it in the app and how I might use it in my everyday life, stick around. One thing that I really love about the 123 Ignition distributor is that it looks totally stock. You have a stock looking distributor here, a stock ignition coil, and you would never know any different if you weren't aware. The stock distributor works very differently though. Um, if we were to take this cap off here, you're gonna see a computer chip and it's totally digital. Whereas the stock distributor cap, if you were to take it off, you're gonna have a little rotating plastic and metal Thing that goes in here and every time it makes contact with one of the wire leads it sends a spark so this is totally electronically controlled and i just love that it looks totally stock 123 ignition is pretty particular about the type of ignition coil you should buy luckily they sell this one on their website so you don't have to go shopping around but this is a 1.8 ohm red label bosch ignition coil and everything installs just like stock the distributor installs just like stock the ignition coil installs just like stock, except to turn this on, you use your phone. So it's a really great system, and also they give you instructions, which is pretty cool. And honestly, good on them for giving you instructions, because I've ordered so many parts and spent so much money with other companies, and they don't give you instructions. So if you're just a guy working in your garage trying to set it up, it can be pretty frustrating. So yeah, they send you instructions, which I'm really appreciative of. And if you've ever worked on the stock distributor cap before, you know that it can be pretty finicky. Literally, you do all the adjustment by twisting this. If the car starts running funny, you've got to go back and move it. Um, you just have to make one adjustment for this on the initial install, and then after that, the phone takes care of everything. It also has a vacuum advance, so it works just like a 280ZX distributor, and it's also programmable just like a 280ZX distributor. So. It's got all the qualities you want and even more. So I'm gonna go into the app real quick and show you guys a little bit of the functionality. When you first open up the app, this is the landing page, which is a live feed of everything going on with your car right now. So here's your tack, you have your ignition timing, you have your vacuum pressure, you have your battery volt, and you also have your temperature of the engine. So this is really cool because if you don't have a working tack or if you just wanna see a live feed of what your advance looks like, um, it's all here for you to see. Next, you can go to the graph section, which is your advanced curves. And what's really cool about this is that it comes loaded with a stock advanced curve. So if you just wanna plop it in the car and let it do its thing, that's fine. But if you wanna do a custom curve, you can do that too. So I'm gonna go up to the top to files, and this is all the curves that I've put in. Over time, I've tried to learn different curves and. I don't really think that I'm a specialist or anything, but I'm trying. And what's really cool is that if you have a certain person do a timing curve for you, or if you have a curve for summer and for winter, like if you get pinging in the summer because it's hot and you need to reduce the timing, you can do that. You can also input different timing curve for different grades of fuel. So if you use 91 or 93 or 100, you can change your timing and make more power. Right now I have one from October 20th to 2020 that I've been running and this is my current curve. I've only advanced it a little bit more from stock just because I want a little bit more power. And plus I think I've changed my cam in this, or at least the previous owner has changed the cam in it. So I tried to push it a little bit further. You can also change your map curve if you have the appropriate sensors for that. And we do, which is cool. After that, we're gonna go into the settings where there's a bunch of things that are less interesting, but there's one key feature in this that makes it a game changer amongst everything else. As classic car owners, I think one of the biggest things that I'm worried about is leaving my car out in an unfamiliar parking lot or parking garage or even taking it somewhere and just leaving it at the grocery store. I don't want it to get broken into or stolen because really you can turn on a lot of these cars with just a screwdriver. So one of my main motivator, motivators for buying this distributor is that I can protect my car with my phone and through the app. And I'm gonna go through that with you guys and show you how it works in real life. When you open the settings, there's a bunch of things in here and I'm not gonna go through all of that. But what I am gonna go through is the immobilize your device feature. And this is what I was talking about with the anti-theft device. 
Basically, when I park the car, I leave the ignition on just a little bit, I click immobilize my device, and then my car is protected. Nobody else can turn my car on unless they have my phone or they have my PIN number. So if someone has an electronic distributor just like mine and they come up to my car with, with the same app, they can't turn the car on unless they have my PIN number. So that can be really useful and it really makes you feel protected when you leave your car somewhere unfamiliar. All right, so let's hop in the car and I will show you how it works. So the car is in regular mode, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on like normal. And it's running and it's running perfectly fine and I'm gonna turn it off. So if I wanna connect to the app, I need to turn the car to auxiliary mode. So I just turn the key a little bit. Now I'm gonna to go to my phone and open the app. If you go to the front page, you can see that we're connected to Bluetooth. That's why the green light came on and now the live feed is going. If I wanna protect the car, I'm gonna to go to the settings and then I'm gonna click immobilize device. It says immobilize on. So now I'm gonna simulate what it's like if someone was gonna break into the car and try and steal it. You can see it just died right there. I'm gonna do it again and died again, and I'm gonna keep trying. And it immediately kills the car right away. So now if I wanna go back to regular mode, I'm gonna go back to the app, turn off immobilize, then I'm gonna to go to my graph section, pick my map that I wanna use, put the phone down, and then the car should start up just like regular. There we go and then it works like perfect. So this is just to demonstrate that if you wanna protect your car in a parking lot, this is how you do it using the app and the 123 Ignition Electronic Distributor. All right guys, and that's it. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the capabilities of the 123 Ignition Electronic Distributor with Bluetooth. I just think it's a super awesome unit and I've had it for two years. I haven't had an issue with it at all. We have crazy hot summers here in Las Vegas and decently cold winters here and the distributor has never faulted me. So I wanted to share this product with you because it gives you the flexibility of using 91 octane or even 100 octane. It gives you the flexibility to drive your car wherever you want and make sure that it doesn't get stolen when you're you know, out at the mall or in a bad neighborhood or something. It protects your car when you leave it and you can just go about your day. That's why we get these things and that's why we restore these cars so we can drive them. So any modification that gives you the flexibility to drive your car more and feel good about it is important to me. So I wanna share this with you and I hope you appreciated this video. This video didn't have a whole lot of entertainment. It had more information and regardless, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'd love to see you at the next one. I'm gonna have more restoration for this car in the future, um, and I'm excited to show you all what's next. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.